Hello everyone. It's quite a windy Friday afternoon and I've just been back on the hovercraft after visiting a school in Littlehampton today and it was a little bit bumpy but I don't mind the bumps, it's quite good fun. Uh, but it was also quite nice to get over onto the mainland uh, and do something different. Uh, I imagine you're all feeling a little bit like that too and, and wanting to do something a little bit different. Um, and hopefully that is going to come soon. So we are all looking forward to the next changes that are happening that will enable us to start doing things differently and experiencing some of the things that we've been uh, experiencing before. So this week in school, again, good week in school. Uh, it's been busy as it is every week. I think I say that every week, um, but it has been. We are really thinking about September, as that's been confirmed that you are all coming back to school in September. Yay! I'm really, really pleased. And we had the guidance this week uh, just to say about that uh, and how we can do it safely. Um, so next week, my plan of action is to look at September, look about what changes and everything we, we need to put in place so that you can all come back to school on the 1st of September for a great year uh, here at Lane's End. Uh, so yeah, so we're looking forward to that. Um, next week in school, it's the last week of the Japanese festivals. Um, so it'd be really good if you could look up some festivals at home uh, and just share those with your teachers or on dojo or send them to me. There's some wonderful Japanese festivals. I wish we had a few more here in, in England and Great Britain to do because uh, it always brings a sense of community and family when we, we do celebrations and festivals together. We are also uh, doing uh, our sports week next week. It would have been the Olympics around now, but uh, that's been postponed. So in school, the children are going to be doing uh, a day of sports each uh, and we're going to do the totals and we're going to announce winners next Friday of which house has won sports week. Um, it'd be great if you could do some sports at home too. It, it's going to be a better week next week so you can get outside and do some activities and sort of participate in a sports day alongside your class. Send them some videos. Um, so we hope that will be really good. Um, next Friday, we are going to finish in school at 11, at 12.30 um, so that we can get all the classrooms ready for transition the week after. And uh, it will be lovely to see you in school. So do join us for transition. Uh, we've got two days, then a day to clean and then another two days. So we hope to see you all over the week and so that you can get to see your teachers and your support teams and your classrooms. Uh, and that and that will be really great. We're, we're really looking forward to seeing you all. And then that will take us to the very last, last day in term, last week in term. Um, five weeks ago, when we said it was an eight week term, it seems like so far away, but now it's creeping up on us really quickly and it's going to be the summer holidays very soon. Um, I know it might not feel like the summer holidays with you at home um, because you've been at home all the time, but for us it will feel like the summer holidays, but we are still going to send home some sort of summer learning and projects for you to do at home, uh, ready for your return in September. Uh, we're gonna send out some transition booklets and once that sort of um, were closed completely after the 18th of August, if you're a little bit wobbly or you need to pop in up to school and, and see your classroom again, then just get your mummies and daddies to email me um, or the family email and we'll arrange for you to pop up and see your classroom. It's going to be very strange for you, I know that. Um, so we want to make it as, as easy as we can for you. Um, we had some news this week that um, France is not happening this year. Uh, we finally said that we couldn't do it. 
how the company did. So I'm just in the process of booking it for next year and hopefully that will go ahead next year. But all the other things that we're booking, swimming, um, Little Canada, trips out, we are booking it with the um, real hope that everything will, will take place. Yes, we are going to be more careful with our hand washing and our cleanliness and how we use the equipment in school and how we contain our bubbles. But I hope that uh, we'll be able to do those trips and have some great times um, in next year in school as well. Um, the library has been finished this week and it's looking great. So I've had one job application for the role of library from their class. So again, if this is a role that you would like to do next year, maybe write a letter to your class teacher that they can forward it to me and uh, we can do a job interview for the job of librarian. We're gonna have lots of different jobs in classrooms too next year, um, just to make sure that everybody feels that they're really part of the family and the team again. So the library is looking really good. We've also, um, they started also converting the long cupboard into a teaching space. So I'm hoping that will also be ready for September and that will be for year four. So year four, you'll have your own teaching intervention area and that will free up for year five and year six uh, and year three. So um, that's looking really good. Anyway, I just wanted to check in um, I just want you to know that you are thought of all the time and even though we cannot see you and, and be a part of every day, you are a part of us and um, we miss you very, very much. So anyway, have a lovely weekend. Let's hope the wind um, stops soon. I'm sort of sporting a, a windswept and interesting look at the moment. So let's hope that the weather shines a little bit warmer next week and that we can get outside a bit more. Take care. We miss you. Bye.